so actually we we are talking about uh, java basics and middle power went off so we'll continue from yeah. there right uh, okay we'll continue from there so I think we finished uh, Java basics, I think. Yeah, we went up to JTA and after that uh, got disconnected. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. So JTA, okay. So the next one is JMX. JMX means Java Management Extensions. So what is this JMX? So it is one of the component in Java. Okay, so it is a uh, JMX contains uh, some objects and uh, beans, M beans, management beans. So what is the use of these beans? So using these beans, we can do the configuration changes. But here, we don't see management beans directly and we don't work with directly with management beans. So whenever we are going to make the changes, in the best year environment automatically mbeans will be invoked so internally mbeans will be do the job okay configuration changes so here we have to understand only one thing jmx jmx is an api so jmx means J java management extensions so is an api so it is a java service so it contains management beans which is used to make the changes at the sphere configuration level. So whenever you make the changes, management beans will be updated. Management beans will be do the job for the configuration level. Okay. And okay. coming to the JAS. So JAS means Java Authentication and Authorization Services. So this is uh, this is this is, this service we uh, we used to do. Uh, I mean, we used to see this service frequently in daily basis, but we don't know this is JAS. Okay, so uh, really, suppose if you wanted to, uh, suppose you are trying to um, transfer money from your account to your friend account. So by default, unfortunately, you gave wrong username and password to your bank account. So immediately, it throws an error, authentication denied, right? So authentication denied or invalid username and password, please provide correct username and password. So from where this error is coming, okay? So end user doesn't know, he knows only I gave wrong username or wrong user, user password, so I'm getting this error. Only he will try to reset the password. I will, he will try to recall the password, okay? So he will try like this, but end user doesn't know from where this error is coming. Okay, so what is the service uh, is validating his username and password? He doesn't know. So there is a JS JAWS application so which can uh, validate the username and password which is provided by the user to log into the particular application. So in this case, so it is a Java API. It is one of the Java service. J2WE Java Platform 2 Enterprise Edition Service. Okay, so JAS stands for Java Authentication and Authorization Services is an API which provides the service to the user authentication and authorization purpose. So here we have to understand two terminologies, two terms. One is authentication. So what is meant by authentication? So authentication means validating the username and password okay so whenever you are trying to log in with gmail it throws an error authentication denied if you give you if you try to log in with the wrong password so authentication means validation validating the username and the password so what is meant by authorization authorization means you are the privileged person to access that application and you are the privileged user, you are the boss, you are the administrator user for your Gmail to utilize that Gmail. That means you can do whatever you want in that Gmail. So we can compose mail, we can change the themes, we can change the password, we can read the emails, anything. It can be anything. We can create the labels. So 
so because you are the authorized person you are you already logged in with your secret username and password so these two services we will call it as jas java authentication and authorization services it is a java program okay which is written by the java programmers okay so so this is very helpful to the applications for authorization and authentication so user will get uh, authenticated when uh, we user give username right username and password so if it give wrong username and password it throws an error okay so like this <coughs> we use multiple java terms uh, we use these kind of java terms as a administrator okay and then coming to the uh, web sphere basics okay so we'll talk about web sphere basics now Okay, so WebSphere application server basics. So WebSphere, uh, first we have to understand what is meant by WebSphere, from where it is, who introduced this. Okay, so WebSphere is introduced by the IBM uh, uh, company. Okay, and uh, WebSphere is a platform. So it contains a list of a soft set of softwares. Okay, so one of the software is WebSphere application server. This is the base server for the entire WebSphere environment. So remaining servers also contact the server for the uh, uh, to executing the code. So which is deployed from there. Okay. So what are the list of uh, what what kind of uh, servers? What kind of uh, um, uh, like uh, products are available in WebSphere? So let me copy from here. Okay. So these are all the list of products available under WebSphere platform. So in this list, we are going to learn first thing WebSphere application server. Okay. So remaining things are different. So we are not going to teach. I'm not going to teach those things. So I'm going to teach only WebSphere application server. This is the base for the entire WebSphere platform okay so then coming to our story WebSphere application server how it came into the market so yesterday uh, I think in demo class we have discussed how it came into the market for deploying the applications so what kind of applications we can deploy non business applications like war files web applications and we can deploy jar files like business logic and we can deploy enterprise applications okay so for, for the purpose only we have introduced WebSphere application server okay and it came into the market in 2002 okay so what are the releases we have in WebSphere application server and what are the versions available okay and we are going to talk about the releases okay the first release is WebSphere application server base okay so in base release what is this base release base release contains it is single server architecture only one server available no license for this product and limited to one CPU limited to one CPU and what are the versions WebSphere versions 4 and 5 
okay this is the first release of websphere in 2002 so what kind of uh, stuff is there in this base so the release name is base websphere application server base release so in this release so we have only single server architecture only one application server is available okay only one server is available no license for this base release this base product software so there is no license it's just a demo okay and it is limited to on cpu that uh, you cannot say cpu mission okay so it is limited to only one mission we cannot install the same product in multiple missions so they have released this product like this but there is no much use because we cannot install in multiple missions we cannot utilize single server okay so there is i mean very i mean uh, we can use but very less uh, advantages very less utilize 